Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. You ain't dying yet. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, listen to me. There is not a thing you could say to me that would change how... I mean, just cut the bullshit and tell me what's going on. You know... Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's... what? Am, am I not... Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now, Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit! Yeah, well, he's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Yeah. Is everything okay? Uh-huh. Eh, the usual, the worst. Thanks. I'll... Make your... Remember... If you need... And that. If you need anything... Want me to walk with you? I know this area. Back from the old roots. I'm really safe here, though. For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much hey, better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living! About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. It was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find your way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. Ah, shit!
Forgive them, for they know not what they do. We are punished justly, for we receive what our deeds deserve. But this man has done no wrong. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Father, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. Amen. Probably my hardest gig, that, but I got through it. What now? Going home, or I'll sleep for two days straight. Be in touch about your compensation soon. You shouldn't release the BD. The world shouldn't see it. That's not up to you, that's not up to me. I'll call you.
see you around, V. Hey, V. Everyone's telling me you're a base gordo now. A big shot, eh? <laughs> so big you can't call me once a week. Once a month, even. Don't forget where you started. Who you started with, hmm? My door's always open to you, V. There's always food on my table. Mi casa es su casa. No se te olvide. Ahí te veo, V. Hey, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. Wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right. Enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V! How are things? Weather in the Badlands is pleasant as usual. My cooler melted, it's 90 degrees in the shade, and there's a sandstorm heading straight for us. So, yeah, you're missing out. No, oh, but seriously, we're, we're all getting by. Family never stops growing. Work's always piling up. Sometimes all I wish for is a good night's rest. But oh well. Can't have everything, right, V? You know what I mean. Let me know when you get bored of the city. I'll take you for a nice, long ride. All right, now. Take care, V. Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now. But just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Alda Caldo. Remember that. Ah, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well... All of us have been wondering when you're finally going to drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right, now, take care. Hey, B, so funny thing just said. Oh, fuck, fuck sake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. Uh, what did I even. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought. Hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, well, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. But I want to make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, 
They wrote, you say, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. Hey, V. Jefferson Peral is here. You know, mayor of Night City. I'm calling about our recent program to tackle homelessness. What would you say about being the head of my security detail, huh? As you know, the number of people I can trust are few and far between. Next week, we're going to be raising the city's taxes. So, things might get a little hairy. Come by. We'll hammer out a good deal for you. I'm no any pincher when it comes to safety. All right. Well... We'll be in touch, V. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but... We haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. Know what I drew? Strength, the Emperor, and the world. Pape. The world's gonna hear about you. Go and show Night City what you're made of. Stop the bus! Hey! Get off! Wait! The guitar! You forgot your guitar! No, I didn't. Haven't forgotten a thing. Never will. Straight to voicemail again? What's going on with you, eh? Lose your tongue or what? I know I wanted to tell you I... I'm cooking a supper on Sunday. For Jackie's birthday. All his favorite food. <laughs> Chilaquiles. Tamales. If I could get some real corn. Oh, maybe even a lote. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could come over. Think about it. Cuídate, amorcito. Take care, love. Hey, V! Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. It wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. 
Take it easy, man. Really? You're just gonna avoid me? Of course you would, you fucking coward. Here's a bit of advice for you, Johnny. Enjoy your new lease on life, because it's not gonna last long. I'm serious. Believe me when I say I'm going to find you, you fucking psychopath. Wherever you're hiding. And when I do, I'm gonna rip V out of your head. Don't ask me how, but so far I'm counting on sheer will. You know what you are, Johnny? A parasite. A fucking tapeworm. You hear me? Enjoy the little time you have left. <laughs> Hello, V. Um, Saul speaking. Heard about something big happening in Night City, with a certain V in the lead role. Uh, don't know what you plan to do now. But just remember, we always take care of our own. And, um, you're one of us now, V. You're an Aldo Caldo. Remember that. Ah, take care of yourself, V. And see you around. V, hey! Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Okay, well... All of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. We can get a barbecue going, knock a few back, do a couple of races, or pay a friendly visit to the Raff and Shiv. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. All right now, take care. Got your message. Johnny, look, I've been around long enough to know that anything is possible in your fucked up world. But I never imagined this, even from you. You must have made a pretty big impression on V for getting him on board with this, so hats off. I'm just wondering how you feel about that, Johnny. Having another person give their life for you. Especially when you're probably just back to all-nighters and cheap tequila, laughing at how stupid he was. Or has your conscience finally learned its lesson? That is, if you've even got one. Good luck out there, Johnny. And don't ever come back to Night City. Hey, V, so funny thing just said- Oh, fuck, fuck, shake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously, I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. Uh, what did I even... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, oh, my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait, I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip. If you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff. For a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote to say a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. Hey, V. Jefferson Peral is here. You know, Mayor of Night City. I'm calling about our recent program to tackle homelessness. What do you say about being the head of my security detail, huh? 
As you know, the number of people I can trust are few and far between. Next week, we're going to be raising the city's taxes. So, things might get a little hairy. Come by. We'll hammer out a good deal for you. I'm no any pincher when it comes to safety. All right. Well, we'll be in touch, V. Hey, V. Sorry to bother you. I know you're a busy man and everything. But, well, I was wondering how you were doing, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh, dear. The Hanged Man. The Magician. The Star. Those... Those are not good cards, V. They're really bad. They're something like death, but... Not quite. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll... I hope to hear from you soon. I know. Exactly why we'll do one last thing. Okay. Lost me. Realize the shit we've been through to get this far. Sure do. To let it all go now. Why? Cleanest. Least bloody option. We try anything else, people will die. People die. It's the way of things. Am I worth their sacrifice? Or you? Besides, it's the only way we'll both be aware. Of what? Death? Mm -hmm. The moment life escapes. Never really gave it a thought. Funny how you still manage to surprise me sometimes. Might be something I learned from you. V, you sure about this? As long as you got nothing against it. Not how I'd have done it. But that's alright. Just like that. No pushback. Huh. Might have learned a little something from you too. Is it time? You know, it really is beautiful. Been nice working with you, V. Yeah. With you too, Johnny. No fucking point. I mean, he... Do it. You'll see. It'll help. Sophie, how's the real afterlife looking? It as nice as they say. Cause down here, it's still shit. Hell, might even be worse than before. Wish I had done more. So things might have come out different. Positive energy, Victor. I... We're gonna miss you, kid. Señor Todopoderoso. Escucha a tu humilde servidora, que obra siempre en tu gracia. Lord Almighty, lend thy ear to your humble servant, who serves forever in thy grace. Recibe en la luz calidad de tu reino a ti, a quien llamaste a tu lado y deja este mundo perverso. And bring unto your lamp of peaceful light, 
the one whom you bid to depart from this cruel world, V. Y acepta la en compañía de tus santos. Amen. And accept her into your fellowship of saints. Amen. May you rest in peace, V. I was thinking about you the other day, and I thought I just want to give you a call. I know it's pointless, but once upon a time, people were talking to graves, and nobody batted an eyelid, right? When I said I was thinking about you, I meant a lot about everything you did. And I guess I get it. <clears throat> Why you wanted to leave this place once and for all. But st still, Z, did you even think about, you know, what happens when... Shit, I can't do this. Hey, V. Just wanted to tell you. I really hope there is an afterlife. Want to know why? Hmm? Because that means one day we'll see each other again. And I'm gonna make you wish you never met me. What were you thinking, huh? Or did you think about nothing at all? Is that it? And after everything I did for you, everything and what's the first thing you go do huh off yourself that's what if there is a hell i hope you're in it rotting burning all of it but b i heard what happened you thought this would solve everything didn't you that this would adequately convey what you thought of this shitty world. Huh? That's something that always pissed me off, you know? This whole romanticizing suicide bullshit. Like we're all Romeo and Juliet. Cause you're so fucking original, aren't you? The only thing you proved is that you don't give a fuck about your friends. Am I right? A fucking waste. Suicidal. Well, guess it wasn't that far fetched. At least, that's how half the people in Night City end up anyway. Especially the good ones. Jamie Sheen, my first partner back on the force, blew his brains out. Didn't leave a note or anything. I knew it was because of how the top brass were handling things. Of course, not like it changed much. Except the fact we were down one more decent badge. Anyway, hope you're in a better place, V. listen to this message, but there are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in my philosophy, right? I mean, in the end, in the end it was your choice, your choice to make. But, well, you should know it, it didn't just affect you, it hate your friends, too. I don't think... I don't think you knew just how many friends you really had. Maybe we'll see each other again, V. You, me, Jackie. Until then, take care.
perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. life out there in the desert, getting some sun, some fresh air in those lungs. Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets into that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. V, is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? Have you lost your mind, mijo? Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? Night City was too boring for you. Estás loco, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid, because I'm not going to a second funeral. Anyway, if you want to see some old faces, don't forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, V. V? Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. Wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V. Listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say... Uh, I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. Never realized how hard being a chief would be. Always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just... I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. How... Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. V. Hey. Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass the message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? 
Hey, Pete. So, funny thing just happened. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like, ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. What did I even want? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them? At first, I was like, over my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out! B, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. Orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us. For me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. But I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote to say a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. Hey, V. Jefferson Peral is here. You know, mayor of Night City. I'm calling about our recent program to tackle homelessness. What would you say about being the head of my security detail, huh? As you know, the number of people I can trust are few and far between. Next week, we're going to be raising the city's taxes. So, things might get a little hairy. Come by. We'll hammer out a good deal for you. I'm no any pincher when it comes to safety. All right. Well... We'll be in touch, V. Hey, V. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know... I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but... We haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you, out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free. Hey, V. How's life out there in the desert? Getting some sun? Some fresh air in those lungs? 